Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. All right, so today we're going to do a new worksheet, and the name of the worksheet is called Raindrop Math Balancing Equations. Ooh, balancing equations. This can be so much fun, but it is kind of difficult. It's difficult in that there is lots of steps to balancing equations. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do this, and I bet by the time we get down to the last question here, you're going to be really good at it. So let's go ahead and look at our worksheet. The directions say circle the correct number so that the two sides are balanced and equal. And this is a fun worksheet. Over here on the umbrella is our first equations. And we've got nine plus six is equal to question mark plus five. Now remember, an equal sign means the same as. So what we're doing here is we have to figure out these two problems and the answers should be the same as each other. So over here on this side, these are the answers that you're going to choose from. So once we figure out what the question mark is, we're going to find it over here and we're going to circle it in this quadrant. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to look at the two sides of the equation. We've got 9 plus 6 and question mark plus 5. Which one of these are we going to be able to solve? Well, we can't do the one with the question mark because that one we don't know what that is so we can't figure that one out yet but we will so this side we need to start with first 9 plus 6 so what we're gonna do is let's draw a picture because I love to draw pictures we're gonna draw a picture to help us figure out this problem let's just make some dots let's make out nine dots so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to add six one two three four five six so i've got nine plus six i'm going to take nine and i'm just going to add on as i count the six so nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer to nine plus six is 15. And I'm gonna take 15 and the rest of this equation says equal to question mark plus five, okay? 15 is equal to question mark plus 5. Now that still seems really hard to figure out, but if you remember, we are going to use fact families. And you remember, when we use fact families, fact families are when you take three numbers that always go together. And sometimes they go together in different ways, sometimes in addition problems, sometimes in subtraction problems. But what we're going to do to find out what question mark is, is we need to get question mark, although we don't see the number, it's a number, we need to get that number off by itself. So the way that we're going to do this, this is an addition problem, but we need to make a subtraction problem. And you remember when we make a subtraction problem with fact families, we need to start with the biggest number first. So we see out of our two numbers that 15 is the biggest number. So we're going to take 15 minus the other number that we see, which is 5. 15 minus 5 equals question mark. And when question mark is off by itself, then we can solve to find out what that is. So 15 minus 5. Let's go ahead and make some dots to figure out what 15 minus 5 is. And we're just going to draw a little picture and then we're going to take away 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to subtract 5. That means I'm going to take them away and I'm going to make them disappear on my computer. If you're writing this out, you can just cross them off. But what we're going to do is we're going to take away 5. So count with me here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So whatever is left should be our answer over here. So let's count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our answer to question mark should be 10. That looks correct. Let's go over here and see if 10 is an option. Oh, it is an option, so I'm getting really excited. I think that this is it, but before we circle it, we always want to make sure that our equation makes complete sense. So I always like to go back and check one more time because if it comes out that our equation is equal with the number 10, then it makes sense and I know I'm right. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this, but I'm going to remember that number 10 we're going to plug in over here into our equation. 
So clear this out. We're gonna write nine plus six. Nine plus six equals, and then we think it's 10, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right over here. 10 plus five. Okay, and then we're gonna to solve to make sure if they're both the same. So nine plus six, you can write it out if you want to like we did the first time, or you can just count with your fingers, you can count on, which I'm gonna do because I kinda of think it's faster if it's a small number. So we're gonna start with nine, I'm gonna count out six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is my answer. So nine plus six is 15 on this side. And then this should also equal 15, so I'm going to add this up, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <gasps> Look at that. Are they the same? 15 is equal to 15? Uh-huh. Those are the same thing, so that's the correct answer. So I know my question mark is 10, so I'm going to go ahead and circle that over on the other side. I'm so glad I checked just to make sure that I was right because I could have been wrong. It's always a good idea to check and make sure everything makes sense. So there's the first one. Now let's go on down to the next one here. Let's go down to the yellow umbrella. And for some reason they've got the numbers over on this side, but don't let it confuse you. These are still just going to be the answers. We're going to jump over to the umbrella and we're going to look at our two equations. We've got eight plus question mark equals or is the same as nine plus seven. So which one of these two sides can we solve? Eight plus question mark? No, we can't solve that one. Nine plus seven? Yep, that one I can solve. So I'm going to go ahead and once again I'm going to draw out my picture or you could always use your fingers to count on but I'm going to draw a picture for this one. So I'm going to do nine dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine, and then I'm gonna add seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got nine plus seven. I'm just gonna add on to nine as I count my seven. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So our answer is 16. Nine plus seven is 16, but actually 16 is over on this side. So I'm gonna write it as I see it. 16 would be over here where nine plus seven is. And then we've got the equal sign. And then we've got eight plus question mark over on this side, okay? So right now, once again, we've got eight plus question mark equals 16 and we need to solve for question mark. So you remember we're going to use our fact families. Fact families are three numbers that go together and although we don't know what this number is, it is a number. So we need to switch this around to make it a subtraction problem to find the answer and put the question mark off by itself. So we're going to take 16 minus 8. Remember we start with 16 because it's the biggest number. 16 minus 8 equals question mark. Okay, so now we can solve this problem. 16 minus 8 equals question mark. I'm going to just write over in this little space over here. I'm going to draw 16 dots and then I'm going to take 8 away. So let's get started. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's 16 dots and we're taking them away. So I'm going to make these disappear. I'm going to take away eight. Count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this should be our answer to question mark. So let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So once again, we've got the number eight. That should be the answer to our question mark. Let's look over here. Oh, there is eight. I think that's right, but what do we have to do before we circle it? Because we want to make sure that we're correct. What do we need to do? Yes, we need to go back and check. So remember in your head eight, and we're going to plug it in to that equation here. So we've got eight plus, and we think it's going to be eight, so we're going to add another eight. Eight plus eight is equal to or the same as nine plus, oops, plus seven. 
okay? So nine plus seven, you can draw it out or you can count it on your fingers. I think I wanna count it on my fingers since it's still small. So nine, count up, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've got 16, okay, is equal to, and then eight plus eight, if this is correct, then it should equal 16. So let's count up once again. Let's start with eight. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I've got 16 is equal to 16. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. So that means eight is the correct answer. Awesome job, you guys are getting good at this. Okay, let's jump down to the last one, which is the turquoise umbrella. And let's take a look at our equation. We've got question mark plus five equals eight plus one. So which side of these can we figure out? We can figure out eight plus one. And you know what? I don't even think I have to draw out that picture, do I? We're just gonna count up one. So one more than eight is nine. So I'm actually gonna write that. I'm gonna go ahead and write the nine is equal to question mark plus five, okay? And then we've got the beginning of our number family, right? We've got two of our numbers, but we need to figure out what the last number is in our number family. So how are we gonna do that? What do we need to do, do you remember? We need to take the biggest number, okay, that we do have, and we're gonna subtract the number that we know, which is five. So nine minus five equals what? Now you might already know this answer, but just to make sure, let's draw it out. We're gonna draw out nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna take away five. So count with me as I take away five. One, two, three, four, Five. That should give us our answer. So how many is that? One, two, three, four. So our answer to this problem should be four. And I already see four over there. That one was kind of easy, but we want to check and make sure. So let's go ahead. Remember four in your head as we clear this, and then we're going to fill that in. So here we go. We're going to fill that back over here. So four plus five is equal to or the same as eight plus one. And if this makes sense, then four is the correct answer. So four plus five, let's start with four and let's count up five on our fingers, okay? So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the answer here is nine is equal to eight plus one, we know that's nine, right? So is that the correct answer? It is, four fits in there just perfectly. So we're gonna come over here and we are gonna circle the number four. Wow, that really got easy after we practiced it so many times, didn't it? Okay, great job today, boys and girls. I'm really proud of you. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.